Danny and the Bumper Lump. Now this is part two. Do you remember what happened in Danny and the Bumper Lump part one? What happened? Was the little boy in bed? And then did he get scared? What was he scared of? Okay, let's see what happens next. Part two. The next night. Bright moonlight and there was still a thing under my bed. Ah! Help! I flung back the sheet and rushed off to find Mum. She was cooking her supper. Danny! Back to bed right away! But Mum... I've got a thing under my bed. It's a bumper lump. It's always there in the night. It might be big and it might be small. It might be red or green or pink. Or maybe gold with black spots. I'm frightened of it. Tell it to go away. What you need is something to frighten the bumper lump. I wonder what could frighten the bumper lump children. Hmm. The next night, Mum stood something next to my bed. It was a night. Can you see the night, children? Can you see the night with the sword? Can you see that night? K-N-I-G-H-T. That means night, like that, like fighting night. Uh -huh. It was a night, the right kind of night for a fight with a bumper lump. In the night's head, there was a night light. So then, so then, does that mean, can Danny see a little bit? Now it's not so dark. I slid between the sheets and shut my eyes tight. Right, this will send the bumper lump away. You will be all right tonight. Thanks, Mum. Do you think you can get to sleep? I might. I think I might. I'm having a look under the bed. Not a bumper lump. It's just a bit of fluff. Fluff is like just a bit of like dirt stuff like that on the carpet. Good night. Sleep tight. Kiss, kiss.
the end.